Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Ghostbusters review for you today. Uh, this is the 6 inch Aaron Gilbert figure. These are kind of along the same lines as like Star Wars Black figures or Marvel Legends. They're about the same size and they do come with Build-A-Figure pieces. If you can see at the top here it says Collect and Connect Rowan. So taking a look at the back of the box it shows Abby Yates, Aaron Gilbert, Jillian Holtzman, and Patty Tolan. And then if you collect them all you get this guy, who is very similar to this guy, which we've already taken a look at. Uh, so I don't know how concerned I am with collecting all of them. To be honest, I've kind of looked at a lot of these and up close, I felt like this is the only one that kind of looks like Kristen Wiig. This one doesn't really look like Melissa McCarthy at all, and these two are okay, but I don't know. The other thing was that I got this on tar on clearance at Target for $9.98 down from $19.99, so half price. So I couldn't say no. Um, since then, Target has taken these off of clearance and put them back up to full price. So I guess the movie did all right, and now they have some faith in the toys, and they've taken them off clearance. I don't know why they put them on clearance so fast, but I lucked out and got this while it was on clearance. So we're going to go ahead, pop this out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So here she is out of the packaging. I think she looks pretty good. I think it's pretty decent paint detailing. I'll try to get close zoomed in here on her face. It doesn't really look a whole lot like Kristen Wiig, but I think it's a, a good looking face, like it looks normal. Some of the other ones have like weird goggles on their face and it just looks a little off. And I've, I saw a couple of them when I was going through the packages where the eyes were just painted very strangely or off center. So if you're going to get one of these, I would definitely look through the packaging and find one where the eyes are painted correctly because there were a couple where the the pupil was off center or like the whole iris of the eye was just blurred on there. Or it's a couple paint, uh, you know, fluctuations from figure to figure, but mine actually looks all right. Uh, as you can see, her last name, Gilbert, is written here above her pocket on her coveralls, overalls, whatever you want to call it. So that's a nice little bit of detail. I like the overall paint. I think they did a nice job with the orange and the silver. And the boots down here have a little bit of orange and silver as well. Taking a look at the backpack. There's a lot of molding. It's not really a lot of like paint detail. You pretty much just have some yellow here and one little red button down here. But there's a lot of nice molded in detail, which I appreciate. Uh, as you can see, she can hold her proton gun in both hands, which I appreciate. Or you can go ahead and just have it in one if you like. Uh, the other cool thing is you can go ahead and take this off and you'll notice that there's a little tab right here and there is a spot. You kind of have to move this around. I don't know, I feel like this got a little wonky on me. Um, but you can see there's a hole right there. So you can go ahead and peg that in so she can actually holster her blaster, which I appreciate. I like that a lot. Let's zoom back out. All right, so... Uh, Articulation wise, the head can move from side to side. It's not a ball joint, it's just a swivel. Uh, typical shoulder joint where you have the kind of up and down, but can also spin around. Now the straps are loose and it looks like you should be able to take the backpack off, but I don't think they're loose enough to stretch all the way over the arms, so I'm not going to attempt it because I don't really want to break it. Uh, you have a normal 90 degrees in the elbow, but it can also swivel around. Then you have the wrists are a little weird. You can kind of see there's like gloves and there is a little bit of wrist there. Uh, it can spin, which is nice. It just looks a little weird coming out of the jacket sleeve like that. Not terrible, just a little strange. Um, there is waist articulation here. Then they kind of have weird hip joints where it can move forward, but then you can see it has like a separate hinge out to the side there. It's not like a ball joint. And it's not a huge problem, it just, sometimes when I go out to the side, I almost feel like the joint's just going to completely come out. So, be careful about that. Uh, thigh swivel, then you have 90 degrees for the knee, and then you have a swivel up and down for the ankle. Now, as far as I can tell, there's not any side-to-side -side movement. And, I mean, there's kind of a little, but I don't know if it's intentional, I don't really want to break this. So, I don't think there is. So that's a bit of a bummer. I would have liked just a little bit of side to side. And if yours can do it and you're braver than I, but I don't really want to break it. 
So I think it's a decent figure. I think the detail is nice. The molding in the face doesn't super look like Christian Wig, but it's not bad. At least it doesn't look super weird like some of some figures I've seen out there based on real people, and then they just don't look anything like them, but this is all right. Uh, paint's decent. The art, the level of articulation is okay. I don't think it's phenomenal. Um, other figures in the same like price point, like Marvel Legends, have two joints in the knee, two joints in the elbow. They have that play I was talking about in the ankle that this doesn't have, and the accessories would most likely be able to be removed, which these kind of don't feel like they can be. I at least appreciate that the blaster can be holstered onto the proton pack. I like that a lot. So, it's an alright figure in my opinion. I should show off these Build-A-Fig legs of Rowan. They don't do anything, and if you don't have anything else, they just exist. But they're alright, they're ghost feet. Not much to say about them. As far as the figure here the, for Aaron Gilbert goes, it's not bad. Do I think it's worth $20? No, I don't. It's not really as tall as like a Star Wars Black Series or a... Uh, uh, Marvel Legends, it's not super far off, but it's a little bit shorter. It doesn't have the same amount of articulation as like a Black Series or a Marvel Legends does. So, I don't know. Finding it on clearance for $10? Absolutely. Totally worth $10. If you can find them on clearance at Target or if there's a sale, maybe 20% off, something like that. I think this is definitely more in the $15 range. $10 was a steal. $15, $14 would be reasonable. $20 is just a little too much, in my opinion. You might completely disagree with me, and that's perfectly fine. Um, like I said, it's a decent figure. I think the level of articulation is okay. It's just not as great as it could be. Uh, I wish she came with a little bit more accessories. The proton pack is good, but maybe like a ghost trap or one or the other. They have lots of gizmos in the movie with like, you know, ghost shredders or ghost grenades or the PKE meters and things like that. I would have loved to have just a little bit more... To, if, like, if you're going to have the figure have a little bit less articulation but more accessories, okay, there's a little bit of play there. I completely understand keeping the price point the same, a little light in this area but heavier in this area. This is a little light overall, and it's not a bad figure, it's just not phenomenal. And I think it's worth 15 not quite 20 So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. i love to hear your opinions on this. Please like and share uh, this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Aaron Gilbert 6-inch figure from the Ghostbusters line, and thanks so much for watching.